Hey there, this is Dr. Madhuri Goswami, Associate Professor of English. In today's session, we are going to take up an important English grammar topic, direct and indirect speech. This topic is also named as direct and indirect narration or reported speech. It's also known as direct and indirect discourse. I believe this topic, direct and indirect speech, is extremely important for you whether you are studying at graduation level or you are preparing for some competitive exams like probationary officers of bank, national defense services, SSC or civil services. In this session, I would explain what do we mean by direct and indirect speech and what are the rules applied for converting these statements from direct to indirect speech. So let's get started. So what do we mean by direct and indirect speech? Let me explain. Both direct and indirect speeches are two different ways of reporting or narrating or saying what someone else said in the past. Just imagine, dear students, there is a speaker and a listener. When the speaker says something and the actual words of the speaker without any kind of change, they are quoted within the quotation marks, that is called the direct speech because it directly comes from the speaker. And in formal English writing, it is always written within inverted commas or quotation marks. Whereas in indirect speech, the main idea of a speaker's words is reported by another person or by the listener. So we can say in simple words that quoting a person using your own words is indirect speech. Now let's have a look on this picture for better understanding of direct versus indirect speech or direct versus indirect narration or reported speech. There is a lady in this picture. She is sitting on a desk and that lady says that you can wait in the staff room. So this is the direct speech because it comes directly from the speaker. And these words are being reported by the listener to another person. And that person reports that the lady at the desk told me that we could wait in the staff room. Is reported speech. This is the indirect speech. Here you can notice a difference between direct and reported speech. Some words have been replaced by other words. That we will discuss in detail while understanding the rules for changing from direct to indirect speech. During this process of understanding the rules or we can say during this lesson, you will come across many important terms that you need to know better so that you can convert any direct speech into indirect speech easily and without any kind of hassle. Here we have a sentence, Joy said to me, I don't like ice cream. I hope you must have identified this sentence as the direct speech. Yes, there are quotation marks and this is the direct speech from the speaker. Through this sentence, we would know about four important keywords, reporting speech, reporting verb, reported speech and reported verb. Please notice the first part of this direct speech is called reporting speech. Here it is, Joy said to me. And the verb of this reporting speech is known as reporting verb. Here we have the word said as the reporting verb. The second part of the sentence which is enclosed in inverted commas or quotation marks, it is called the reported speech. Here, I don't like ice cream is the example of reported speech. And I think you must have understood what is a reported verb. The verb which occurs in the reported speech is known as the reported verb. There are three basic rules for conversion of direct speech into indirect speech. The first one is change the pronouns. Second, backshift the tense. And the third one is change the time and place expressions. Let's understand these changes through this example. Here is a sentence. Praveen said, I'm learning to play the guitar now. Here this sentence is written in direct speech and when we change this direct speech to indirect speech, it becomes Praveen said that he was learning to play the guitar then. 
just notice the difference between direct speech and indirect speech the word like said to i'm learning in now in indirect speech they becomes told he was learning then and the comma and inverted commas they are removed when we change from direct to indirect speech the said to becomes told because there is an object in the reporting speech and that is me if there is no object in the reporting speech then it would remain the same said or says now notice that the pronoun in direct speech i it becomes he in indirect speech because the pronoun i refers to the speaker praveen so it becomes he in indirect speech second thing is the back shifting of the tense second change is the back shifting of the tense when praveen spoke his words were in the present tense i am learning but when his words are reported they are expressed in the past tense he was learning this is called back shifting of the tense shifting the tense back to the past and the word now it becomes then that is a time expression the word now becomes the word then another important change which you must have noticed that we remove that comma and inverted commas and we have used the conjunction that to join reporting speech and the reported speech now you can pause the video and just check the bold and underlined words just to find what are the changes which we have done here let me give you a quick recap of these three main steps of changing tenses pronouns time and place expressions the tenses usually shift or move back in time because time has passed between the moment of speaking and the time of the report so the back shifting of the tenses except some cases pronouns in direct speech are changed in accordance to the person who is reporting this is important to remember and time and place expressions those words which indicate nearness in time and place must be replaced with appropriate words expressing distance while it's important to understand all these changes in detail so that all doubt should be cleared how to change the pronouns there are three things to remember first is first person pronouns like i we in the reported speech are always changed according to the person number and gender of the subject of the reporting speech let's take up an example nancy said to priya i have informed the manager here the first person in the reported speech is i and it is changed according to the subject of the reporting speech that is nancy so nancy is a third person female so this i becomes she the indirect speech is now nancy told priya that she had informed the manager the second thing while changing the pronouns is second person pronouns like you in the reported speech are always changed according to the person number and gender of the object of the reporting speech we have an example here seema said to riya you have received a letter the pronoun you is the second person pronoun in this reported speech and it's changed according to the object of the reporting speech and that's riya here so it becomes seema told riya that she had received a letter the third point while changing the pronouns is the third person pronouns like he she it they are not changed at all for example mohit said to me she recorded a song yesterday no change because she will not change she will remain the same even in indirect speech mohit told me that she recorded a song the previous day or day before as we talked about the back shifting of the tense but this rule is not applied in two cases and remember don't change the tenses of the reported speech if the reporting verb is in the present or future tense for example the prime minister says the country will import the dairy products the prime minister says here notice this word says this is in present tense so there will be no change in the tense of the reported speech the second condition is if the words within the quotation marks talk of a universal truth historical facts or habitual actions 
then also will not change the tenses of the reported speech. Let's look at an example. The earth revolves around the sun, said the teacher. The teacher said that the earth revolves around the sun. In this sentence, there is a universal truth expressed. Although the reporting speech is in the past tense, but there will be no change in the tense of the reported speech because the expressed idea is a universal truth. So it becomes the teacher said that the earth revolves around the sun. Also notice that the reporting clause that the teacher said is written here at the end of the sentence. So how would you change this? We almost always put that reporting clause at the beginning when we change to indirect speech. Now let's explore the back shifting of tenses. If the reporting verb is in past tense, then reported verb will be changed as per the following chart. The present indefinite tense changes to the past indefinite, the present continuous changes to the past continuous, the present perfect to the past perfect, and the present perfect continuous to the past perfect continuous. So this is the back shifting of tenses. Now how to change the past indefinite? It's easy to remember that all the present tenses would be changed into the past tenses. But here pay attention and now let's focus that the past indefinite tense is changed to the past perfect, the past continuous to the past perfect continuous. Future will be changed into the, its past form like will will be changed into would. Model verbs would be changed in their past form except now let's learn about the words indicating nearness in time and place and how they are replaced with other appropriate words. Here are some important word changes. You can pause the video and note down, please note down the words like now becomes then or at that time, ago becomes before, thus in indirect speech it becomes so, at once it becomes that moment, this that i hope you must have understood why this change because time has passed between the moment of speaking and the time of the report so we do change tenses and time and place expressions now let's practice the first example is i don't like this book said john john said he didn't like that book please notice three changes i becomes he don't like becomes didn't like and this becomes that. The present simple tense changes to the past simple. In the second example, we met in a party last week, said Myra. Myra said we had met in a party the week before. Here in this example, met simple past becomes had met that is past perfect. And last week becomes the week before. The third example, the interviewer said to the young man, we will let you know our decision by tomorrow. When the sentence is changed to indirect speech, it becomes the interviewer told the young man that they would let him know their decision by the next week. Here will becomes would, the pronouns we and are becomes they and their. Tomorrow becomes the next day. Let's take up an example of the model verb also. Tom said, I must visit the doctor today. It becomes, Tom said that he had to visit the doctor that day. Change of pronoun. Here we have the first person pronoun and that will be changed according to the subject of the reporting speech. As it refers to Tom, so it becomes he pronoun. Must becomes had to and today becomes that day. So dear students, we have learnt in this lesson how to change statements from direct speech to indirect speech. Let's have a quick recap. What are the changes? What are the steps which you follow while changing from direct speech to indirect speech? Number one, use of conjunction that, removal of commas and inverted commas, change in pronouns, back shifting of tenses, and changing time and place expressions. When we change assertive or statement sentences from direct to indirect speech. In the next session, we will take up the three types of sentences, interrogative sentences or questions, the imperative sentences and the exclamatory sentences as well. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Happy learning.